So is your strategy with this camp basically just to make yourself visible to the public? Absolutely visible to the public so that when we are asking for the correction of the application of law, so they have laws, trespass to is a law and camping uh, ban is a law and there's also unlawful camping in the parks that's a law and there's also some 4.872 uh, tent violations but yeah the more visible you are then when we go and file when I go and file in a federal court or they make preparations on their own which would be so much nicer than having to file paperwork then at least the community at large knows what was happening because if you stay invisible what good is trying to defend the rights of homeless people because that's all they want us to do anyway is stay invisible and that's unacceptable yeah uh, well, well said Eric uh, do you feel you're having an effect absolutely people are starting to read the signs uh, and it's not a lot of signage and it's because my protest is quiet it's quiet that we are the protest that the homeless have rights that the unhoused have rights that people living home free urban survivalists, urban campers, urban travelers, whatever you want to call somebody, they're at home wherever they're choosing to stay, or they would go somewhere else. So we have the rights to be here, and we would rather be somewhere in a more organized fashion that wouldn't necessarily need to be in sight, but nobody is getting things done for the housing problem across America for people on 750 a month, and nobody is getting anything done for the people that are absolutely not capable of sustaining a, an apartment at the prices they are on minimum wage jobs. So they have to make adjustments and the easiest way to do it is to be in their face and have no warrants or legal issues otherwise.